In the last 12 months, Stoke City and Gillingham have known the agony and the ecstasy of Wembley between them. Stoke winners of the auto windscreen shield last month against Bristol City. And Gillingham having suffered that heartbreak against Manchester City last season. Stoke have never beaten Gillingham in the league in their four meetings. This is Lightbourne, terrific bit of skill from Kyle Lightbourne. Good Lawson! An amazing start at the Britannia Stadium! It's over Good Lawson! Inside 30 seconds, Gillingham have been torn apart. Good Lawson, the goal scorer for Stoke. He's got Gunnison on the outside if he wants him. This is Gunnison. And Lightbourne! It's two! Unbelievable! Gillingham have been ripped to shreds in eight minutes. And Stoke City lead by two goals to nil. Carl Lightbourne with the second. That's a great ball to pick out if you're on Yura. Can he shoot? He can shoot, but he can't score. That's a brilliant stop by Ward. Great positioning by the keeper. Onyura's flick on for Smith. Onyura again. Trying to bustle his way past Dryden. Beyond Smith. This is Gooden, it's 2-1! Ty Gooden, maybe a little bit fortunate with the way the ball broke for him, but he certainly made the most of it. The Kent club showing they're not dead yet. Gillingham inflicted Stoke's heaviest defeat of the season in February. And they've picked out Nicky Southall. Suspicion of offside here, but it's Lewis tipped over by Ward. The flag's up anyway. Great flick by Onyora. It's Smith! Another fine stop by Gavin Ward. Southall's pullback. Smith shot. On by Hessenthaler for Southall. Nicky Southall for Gilliam. Another brilliant stop by Ward. They're not going to get past him today by the looks of things. Stoke haven't lost at home since Christmas. Absolutely irresistible at home. Now Andy Hessenthaler's through though for Gillingham. Hessenthaler denied by a fantastic challenge from Nicky Mowen. Well, the challenge timed to perfection. Suddenly some space for Stoke City down the flanks. Gunnarsson's pulled away. Two in the middle waiting for the cross. It's in for Thorne! Could have been 3-1. Kamenas cross. O'Connor's had a bottom save. since March phenomenal record can't be much time left here for Gilliam this is Hessenthaler suddenly a bit of space for Andy Hessenthaler oh what a goal he almost tore the net off fantastic strike from Andy Hessenthaler Deep into stoppage time, Gillingham have a lifeline. Look at this. Well, it's been a wonderful atmosphere, a wonderful match. 
I can't wait for the second leg. Mike Dean blows the whistle. 3-2 to Stoke City. A truly memorable playoff encounter. Goodwin Tordeson unhappy about the amount of time being added on though. Obviously we were very disappointing with the goal and uh, when the lads asked the referee on the pitch how many extra minutes he was going to play, he said three minutes, all of a sudden we got four minutes here and, and uh, when they scored the goal I stopped the clock and showed the official 49.56 it was. So he gave them one extra minute and, and uh, under the circumstances it's difficult to find out where he got that extra minute. That must be as good a goal as you've ever scored and probably as important a game as you've ever played almost. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's a couple of minutes left and um, I just picked it up and thought, you know, why not have a pop? Sometimes they go in, sometimes they hit the corner flag, you know, sometimes they go over the bar and lucky enough for me it's, it's gone in and, uh, you know, it's put, it put the uh, tie back in the balance.